Hello, hello. All right. Well, it's a great pleasure to be here at the Future Investment Initiative because we are creating the future of manpower. So this is Beomni. You saw before some of the examples of work that Beomni can do. Beomni is an AI robotics platform capable of doing a limitless number of tasks. We do this by having a human operator using a VR uh, haptics sort of system, which enables it to train the robot and create data for it. That data then goes into an AI engine and it learns to do what you've just done. So we're training it right now for surgical assist so that it will be able to take a surgical instrument and hand it to a doctor and bring it back. The robot is also being trained for agriculture and sustainable grow boxes. We've trained it for doing laboratory work, kitchen work for elderly. We've heard a lot of talk about sustainability. Imagine what we can do in the world if labor costs get cut in half. What does that do for the cost of goods? In the United States and around the world, we're concerned about inflation. Well, what happens to inflation when your goods cost less, the cost of energy is less because the manpower involved with it is less? What happens when I can duplicate a nurse so that instead of having 1.2 billion people who don't have access to any health care, suddenly they all have it because if I have one nurse, I can have a million nurses. We talk about the SDGs for, for poverty and equality. This sort of system brings equality in several ways. One, I could have work centers in which a person can work through the robot while it's in his avatar function. And it won't matter what your race is, what your nationality is, what your sex is. It just matters on how well you're doing the work. Now over time, our robot evolves. It does this on a task-by-task -task basis. So through the human operator, it learns to be able to do a, a task, and then it evolves to do that autonomously. So we're going to first start in surgical assist, and then it will move on to nursing. It will move on to a variety of other healthcare aspects. An area that's very close to my heart is elder care. In the United States, we have about one-third the necessary professionals for taking care of the elderly. It's worse in Japan, it's actually worse in China and Europe. With this system, I could put it into your parents' home. You could be 10,000 miles away from your parents. You can jump into the robot and be able to make your, your mom or your dad meals, make sure they did their exercise, go out to the garden with them. When you're not available, the AI can do tasks for you. And if the AI can't handle it and you're not available, then I can have one professional standing by for every 10 elderly. 
And this way, I can solve the elder crisis because there's about one-third the number of professionals needed. That's just one small aspect of, of how the system works. So over time, this will go from surgical assist to manufacturing, to hospitality, to retail, to energy, logistics, you name it. It's really just limited by your imagination. Just like a car, uh, the cost of this system goes down with scale. So over time, the cost of this robot will drop down to 50,000, 40,000. But you gotta think, the robot works 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It also doesn't get on its phone. It doesn't lose its concentration. So it doesn't replace one worker. It replaces at least four to six because it's relentless. Another beauty about Beomni is that it will be able to transition from being an enterprise to being an everyday object, to be a solution as a consumer product. So imagine waking up in the morning, and it's Tuesday, let's say, and you have a favorite breakfast on Tuesday when it's raining. Um, it'll make that breakfast for you. Now, you might have a different breakfast that you like if uh, it's sunny outside. It'll know how to do that as well. And did you stay out late to about 2 a.m.? Well, it'll, it'll know to bring you your, your drink uh, to uh, get your headache taken care of. The point of Beomni is, is it will be able to do all your human tasks. So when you wake up, your food will be made, your house will be cleaned, your laundry will be done. When you get home from work, your dinner is ready, the garden has been upkept, the kids have been... Uh, doing their homework, because the robot is, can also be a teacher. Everything that involves human labor, this system will do. So we see this as a solution for sustainability. This last panel talked about the oceans. Well, of course, a lot of waste that goes in the ocean has to do with human labor. We can create a system that massively reduces the carbon footprint of anything that you're doing. Uh, humans uh, expel carbon dioxide, the robot does not. Humans are inefficient and create waste, the robot does not. In addition, we talked about in the last panel about ocean awareness. Imagine having these because you can make it waterproof, literally working on the bottom of the ocean floor, rebuilding the coral reefs. It's really just limited, I hate to say it, by your imagination. So, if you want to be able to see where labor is going, this is where labor is going. Labor is going to solve uh, many of our problems through robots like Beomni. We're going to be able to have lower cost uh, services. We're going to be able to, in essence, clone our abilities. And people will go from doing dangerous jobs to doing much more intellectual endeavors, to being artists, to being engineers, to being software programmers, rather than stocking shelves, or working in mines, or working in other dangerous occupations. So I think I'm gonna have a, a little introduction with Biomni here. Let's see, uh, Biomni, uh, do you wanna say hello to the crowd? I think he's asleep right now. Well, I guess he's going to wake up. Nope. <laughs> well, Biomni actually is boy or girl. It depends upon who's operating it and who wants to uh, be in it. It actually has, has no sexual orientation. The robot is capable, actually, of running for up to 12 hours. It can go through sand snow, mud, faster than you can move. It can do that uh, because it has not only its wheeled system, but it has a gyroscope inside of the robot to stabilize it. So it won't fall down and crush something. It will always be 
uh, reliable in terms of working around humans. So I think it did said hello. Does it want to uh, play a game? All right, let's play your favorite game. Ah, he wins. So uh, we are training it to do very basic uh, tasks, but we're also training it to do something else that no other robot is doing. It has an omnipurpose brain, much like your brain. Dynamically interlacing sight, sound, motion, cognitive functions. It's also learning self-awareness. So it knows what is it, what an object is, and what its environment is. Why is that important? Because you don't want the robot putting its hand in front of an object that it's reaching for and have it disappear. So we also teach it uh, the concept that something, just because it's uh, disappeared because your hand eclipsed it, still perseveres. So with that, I will uh, say thank you for coming. If you wish to learn more about Beomni, go to www.beomni, B-E-O-M-N-I dot A-I. And uh, thank you uh, for inviting us. Cheers. <laughs>